<laughs> Some poor sod doing for it. Ten packs of four inch concrete blocks. Good luck. Yes, and that was that job. Um, yeah, there weren't much to show there. Um, I would have been attacked by uh, jackdaws. Um, yeah, just weather pointing really, so that's finished. Uh, there's an extension going up there, I'm not sure how they're doing that, whether they're striking it as they go or whatever, but I'll hear later. So I'm back here, um, that scaffold's down. This is the uh, weather struck pointing in uh, silver sand and white cement. The scaffold's down that side, so um, I'm gonna do that. Not a lot happened here really since I've left, the boys have not been here. But they've started tackling the inside, so I'm not getting involved in that yet anyway. Uh, right. Two things. These buckets. The oddy bucket. Uh, we used them first here, it must be a couple of months ago now. Uh, and they were fine, but I wanted to give them a good go. Uh, so they've gone on the other job with me. Uh, I've been using them uh, on the Jenny wheel, pulling stuff out. I've been knocking gear up with the whiskey in it. Um, I've dropped one a couple of times and they're fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. They're not really dirty, they look dirty. Anyone who works with lime mortar would know um, what lime mortar does to buckets. But a little bit of brick has to do, just clean that up. But um, no, they're very good. Um, I thought I'd give them a shout because, you know, if, something, if I think something is worth the money, um, I would say it and they, yeah, they're good you know not a bit of damage on them at all nothing's I bought a new toy uh, bought Evolution um, cordless whisk well, I've got other Evolution tools that's why I picked this well more, more than one reason um, I've got the, 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 the uh, big drop saw uh, and the skill saw uh, um, I can't complain about them they're, they're a brilliant bit of kit I looked at the DeWalt, which is uh, the flex vault, but you know, that's over 500 quid. And be quite honest, when I'm doing weather struck pointing, or any pointing really, a bit more if I'm doing flush, um, I only mix one gauge a day up. Uh, so I got this for 230 pound with a battery. Uh, and it does about five mixes. So that lasts me a week. I probably will get another battery for it. Um, but yeah, it really is a good bit of kit. I'm pleased with it. Uh, I was just fed up pulling fucking leads out. And one day I pulled two leads out and both the leads weren't, just weren't working. It does you nothing, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, right. I uh, first bought it off of, there's a bit of story, so I bought it off of um, Amazon. Because it's a bit of money, they send you a code. You know, the bloke turned up with it and uh, I couldn't get the code to work. Um, it was it was their end, their website said uh, there was something wrong. So I stood there, the bloke's at the door with the box, with the thing in it. I'm looking at it, I want it the next day, and he can't give it to me because I ain't got the code. Fucking talk about frustrating. Anyway, they sent me the code, he came the next day, I got it. Uh, didn't need it then, in such a rush. Left it a couple of days, I owned it up and they sent me the wrong one. They just sent me the bare unit with no battery and uh, charger in it. So that went back to Amazon, got a refund. Uh, then I found that uh, a company called Tall Den, um, which was it was about thirty quid cheaper. Ordered it off of them. Date was supposed to be coming. They sent me an email saying we've done a security check on it, uh, and there's no battery and there's no charger in it. Fuck me, dead. <laughs> I'm thinking now they're, they're sending me the one what I've just sent back to Amazon, and they surely. So yeah, I waited. So it took about a week before I got it, but I'm glad I waited. Um, it's a good bit of kit. Right, um, well, I want to start a bit of pointing out the back there. I say there's nothing to show, is there? I have, the, the, I've got some nice things coming up, uh, and later on in the year, I've got something really big, um, which will be really interesting. So, uh, anyway, all right, I'll catch you next time.
Act five, mate. Brilliant. Nice shot, Sandy. Uh, I just put this in the uh, this video that I'm putting out to sort of dispel a bit of a myth about hard cement mortars um, destroying brick walls. And I'll show you this now. Um, this is an original old foundry wall. Um, and it's the original condition. There's, n there's nothing been done to this. It's a, there's no cement in it at all. Um, all the original lime mortar is there. Um, I did look up there, it's been penny rolled. Now look, look at these bricks. Now they're blown. Right. That is nothing to do with sand and cement because there isn't any. Um, people will try and tell you that. It does cause it, don't get me wrong. But um, you know, th these these bricks are these are probably 200 years old, something like that. So you know, different times in the furnace, whatever. Uh, and some are softer than others, and they they just blow. They're soft red bricks. It, it's nothing to do with the sand and cement, though. You know, sand and cement can cause it. Uh.